Hey guys, we're back on another top five. Today we'll be going back to our heffalumps and and woozles list. So last time, last video, I did heffalumps and woo. I did the top five heffalumps. That was part one. This is part two. People have been asking for a part two, so I've been want so I've been wanting to make more of these. There are so many heffalumps in this video. And many more way the poo that I just have to include them all at some point or another. So let's get right on it. I'd like to make a shout out to my friend Andreas who was who made up this idea in the first place. So thanks for this idea. And I'll be doing more coming up pretty soon with um top five weasel woozles as well. Or top five many more Pooh the Pooh creatures. Let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see on those. Anyway, here we go. Number five. The checkered heffalump. This heffalump is introduced right in the beginning, with him being very checkered-like, green and yellow. And then he changes into a woozle later on. And then he has a big giant head, and then he has a long neck, and then he turns into it. He's a very weird heffalump, but for sure he definitely doesn't really... He definitely is the first one you see. So it's nice to see what a heffalump should look like in this checkered formation, in the way that's so fast and cool. Number four, the jump rope heffalump. This one joins up with a woozle, and then them jump roping, and then the other, and then they have a, and he has a, she has a skirt on, and then she has stripes later on, along with her weasel friend having spots. This this hef, this jump rope heffalump is really cool. How it's like very scary, and how it jump ropes. You might think it's innocent, but really, it's scary in a way. With the heffalumps doing their own thing with the jump rope, it just seems very cute but interesting at the same time. Number three, the harp effalump. This one's a very classic one because this one has a harp with its trunk and it, and it has honey making it into a harp. I always thought this one was really cool in its, in its way of making it into a harp and making the noise music, kind of like the spring ones from before. But still, a lot of that energy is filled in within this harp. Number two, the trumpet heffalump. The trumpet heffalump is only briefly in the parade, although the rest of the heffalumps and woozles. It plays a trumpet briefly in the back with its long trunk. It's very cute and fat, and I just love him. And I remember him from most of the time I've seen this from, this from this song. And from when I know it, the song is over. So this, when I see him, it really completes the whole song for me. Number one, the bee heffalump. The bee heffalump is another favorite of mine that I really wanted to I really wanted to talk about, but I never got a chance to. He was an elephant that looked like a bee. It's most of the ones you see in the rides and in the parks and everywhere. And Winnie the Pooh definitely, definitely, definitely chases after it. So it's definitely a favorite of mine, for sure. With a cover of being a bee and Pooh having the honey and everything. Honorable mentions. The blue heffalump. There's a blue heffalump that takes a cover off a honey jar at some point. Of course, this one was my least favorite of the bunch because I always hated that hearing that noise about the honey jar getting tortured. But this one, I had to mention it because in case of you guys like that, here it is right now. But it's still a, a classic heffalump. For sure, you might see her in some places, her being blue or her being pink, whatever the case is. And then I'd like to kick a shout out to the heffalump, heffalumps on all the, in the ride. I can't really say what's in the ride and what isn't. And there's so many heffalumps in the ride that I gotta mention them all right here. And there's also a few in um in some parts of the world. Like in a few Hoi the Pooh in Tokyo, where you join up with a heffalump in your in your ride and you get and it follows you everywhere you go. Which is really cool and I love that. So it's called Way the Pooh's Honey Hut. I highly recommend you go go ride on that ride in Dis in Disney in Tokyo because it's really a fun. Or Please research if I'm wrong or where it is. But neither way, it's a really fun time. Okay, I hope you enjoyed these heffalumps and all their glory of their honey or whatever. And I'll see you next time. Next time we'll be looking into the top five wo woozles. Bye.